Alright, uh, welcome back mga idol uh, sa ating CCNA Philippines video series. So again, um, this is the continuation of the previous video or videos. And then today, uh, we're on video number 4 and um, happy to announce or uh, I'm introducing that we're going to talk about the formal CCNA topics na. Okay, so about sa CCNA topics na tayo. Wala na yung mga uh, kadramahan. <laughs> I mean, wala na yung mga cheche-breche. Okay? So, are you ready? Let's get go! Okay. So, um, we're go on the chapter 1. So, this is, uh, we're going to talk about CCNA first. So, ano nga ba ang CCNA and then other things na related sa CCNA na makakatulong at makakapagbigay sa inyo ng information tungkol sa CCNA career or sa Cisco certification. Okay? So, chapter 1, all about CCNA. Okay? Let's start. So, ang lesson 1 natin for this chapter is Cisco certification hierarchy. So, let me show you some picture or let me show you a sample picture of the certifications na meron si Cisco as of today. So, as you can see, uh, here sa ating uh, screen, you can see the hierarchy of certifications na meron si Cisco today. So basically, uh, from entry level and then going to associate, we also have professional and then expert. And then uh, on the on the left side, makikita mo kung anong um, position or let's say kung anong technology or kung anong specialization para doon sa entry para doon sa associate or para sa professional and then para sa expert. So, sa architect, makikita mo meron tayong um, Cisco Certified Architect. Sa cloud, meron tayong CCNA Cloud, CCNP Cloud. Sa collaboration, cyber security, alam ko bago lang to eh. Cyber security, uh, last December or November lang ata yan. And then data center, meron siyang associate, professional and expert. So, and then everything. So, meron din tayong for internet of things. Security, service provider, wireless specialist. So, uh, ang focus natin since ang blog is CCNA Philippines, so basically focus tayo sa CCNA. So, pansinin nyo yung associate column or row, row but a row. And then, uh, ang, ang pinaka-focus natin kasi ang basic at ang fundamentals or foundation ng CCNA ay ang CCNA route and switching or route and switch. So, basically, ito yun, CCNA route and switch okay so yan yung focus natin dito sa vlog at dito sa video series kung mag e ka ng CCNA yan din yung kukunin mo usually yan yung kinukuha kasi yan yung pinaka foundation ng Cisco career kasi yung, yung ibang um, specialization or ibang uh, certification is um, naka-base or nagro-root din dito sa CCNA, routing and switching. Kasi kailangan marunong ka muna makaintindi or alam mo kung paano gumagana yung route, routing and switching bago mo maintindihan pa yung ibang mga uh, certification. So, uh, for your information, dito sa blog at dito sa video series, focus tayo dyan. Sa CCNA, routing and switching, pag kukuha ka ng exam, malamang sa malamang, yun din ang kukunin mo. So, uh, Routing and switching. And then, uh, yan. So, CCNA, RNDS, and then ang exam number niya, today, bago yan, last December, uh, September, I think, CCNA, RNDS, uh, exam number 200 So, yan yung exam number niya kapag magpapalista ka ng exam kay Cisco. Okay? Alright, so, I guess that's it for, for the last. Uh, before I forgot, so basically, Ang lahat ng yan, uh, lahat ng hierarchy or lahat ng certifications ni Cisco usually is nag expire every 3 years. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan mong ma-renew yung certification mo bago mag-expire. So, let's say kung CCNA ka na and then magti 3 years na, kailangan mong either kumuha uli ng CCNA or mag-take ng CCNP kahit alin man dito sa CCNP bago ka makapasa or I mean bago ma-renew uli yung CCNP mo. So yung CCNP routing and switching merong ano yan uh, 3 exams so CCNP switch, route, tsaka key shoot so pwede kang or pwede ka rin mag-take ng other CCNA 
specialization uh, certificates certificate gaya ng nakikita niyo sa screen or uh, pwede ka mag-CIE kasi alam ko yung ibang mga CCNP required yan na uh, kailangan CCNA ka muna eh bago mo kunin so ganun right so oh, on the coming videos or on the coming lesson pag-uusapan natin lahat yan more on CCNA kasi nga sabi ko doon tayo focus okay all right so that's it for this lesson i hope you find something useful and some informative information on this one and we're going to uh, talk more about CCNA on the coming lessons okay all right idol maraming salamat god bless